ఇస్రో ప్రయోగం విజయవంతం కావడంపై శాస్త్రవేత్తలు హర్షం వ్యక్తం చేశారు ఇలాంటి ప్రతిష్టాత్మక ప్రయోగంలో భాగస్వాములు కావడం గర్వకారణంగా ఉందన్నారు నాలుగు ఉపగ్రహాలని ఒకేసారి కక్షలోకి ప్రవేశపెట్టడం ద్వారా ఇస్రో ఒక చరిత్రను సృష్టించింది దీనికి సంబంధించి ఇస్రో శాస్త్రవేత్తలను కూడా అడిగి తెలుసుకుందాం వాట్ యూ థింక్ అబౌట్ దిస్ మిషన్ పర్టికులర్లీ పిఎస్ఎల్వి ఈస్ క్యారియింగ్ వన్ నాట్ ఫోర్ శాటిలైట్స్ సో ఎవిడెంట్ దట్ ద కెపబిలిటీస్ ఆఫ్ పిఎస్ఎల్వి ఇదర్ టూ ఈస్ అన్ఎక్స్ప్లోర్డ్ సో ఫార్ అండ్ maybe the first few launches we were struggling to see that one or two launches we make per the national commitment per year today we are almost talking about 12 launches per year now almost a month so the international demand as well as national demand is going up you are aware the usage of space into all departments are going up now it is almost unlimited use space usage is right now you can imagine what all things you can signal of space can be without any hindrance can be used this vast usage of space technology has really put lot of demand in communication navigation as well as remote sensing and uh, even in defense sector also a lot of uh, demand is there and we are trying to meet that all these uh, demands are met by national um, launches itself and mark 3 what we are launching now in a couple of months right now from here we'll see that we are not going to any foreign land for any more launches even 4 ton class or 3 plus ton class launches can be made from indian soil itself so can we say that uh, isro is open for commercial uh, uh, launches uh, in future also isro is already open for commercial launches the one to one policy for launching what kind of launches we should make will be made by andrex corporation dois case to case studies going to launch uh, this type of uh, uh, test series in future also in coming four days or uh, coming uh, year or uh, next no I, ch- i think our chairman has clearly explained all depends upon the demand what is coming up we are only catering to the demand of the international community otherwise you are committed to the nation for societal applications so what about the man mission uh, that are going to be carried out uh, by the isro man mission of course uh, uh, the, uh, par- the our cabinet has not given approval so far because it's not the national priority right now but whatever critical technologies what is required for man mission one by one mark 3 is a man rated machine um, 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 rocket as well as now we are going to conduct a pad about test in a couple of months right right, right from now this pad about test is uh, a crew escape module in case of any eventuality the crew should escape life is very precious so these are all the critical technologies like space suits space food everything space and environment crew escape module and other things slowly one by one we are uh, enabling so that at the same time when we are getting uh, sanction for this it can be executed in a faster mode slv is the uh, very uh, uh, very 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 uh, conceptual vehicle but uh, what about the gs will be uh, test in future see the purpose of uh, the the very very uh, capability of pslv and gslv is totally different actually gslv can right now carry almost almost 1.8 to 2 tons we can enhance it also because we are having, going to have one high thrust vikas engine series test right now in a couple of months which will enable another 80 kg payload in both pslv gslv and mark 3 also like that more and more optimization uh, things uh, uh, technology is also continuously happening in isro about the chandrayaan 2 uh, and the uh, venus machines chandrayaan 2 of course uh, i think you have just heard another telling that uh, it was a more impact probe actually it's only impacting from the uh, height and it get destroyed but whereas in iprc now in sro propulsion complex in mahendragiri we are conducting test for soft landing continuous thrust test be generated in the opposite direction the volume of fuel also is consumed consumed thrust generated is always uh, continuously changing so you have to see that the thrust generated is equal to the volume of mass everything together so that it can float at any point of given point of time so throttling is one one important technology what we are now looking at and we are having some technology demonstrators and experiments on at iprc mahendragiri for this chandrayaan 2 soft landing of rover so uh, isro chairman has uh, also light on uh, given light on uh, venus machine also so what about that venus machine of course only study teams are right now we are only just seeing that mathematical calculations and everything how to see that uh, the mission design is on actually as a paperwork otherwise uh, no other thing has uh, really started thank you thank you
ఇది మొత్తానికి ఇస్రో త్వరలో చంద్రయాన్ టూతో పాటు వీనస్ మిషన్ శుక్రగ్రహం మీద కూడా ఉపగ్రహ పరిశోధన చేసేందుకు ఒక ఉపగ్రహాన్ని కూడా ప్రయోగిస్తామని చెప్పి ఇస్రో చెప్తుంది కెమెరా పర్సన్ అనిల్తో కలిసి ధనుంజయ్ ఈటీవీ న్యూస